morning everybody this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College and my reading is for April the 15th and it's John chapter 4 that we're reading from and my password for today is found in verse 10. This is the incident where the Lord Jesus enters into conversation with this woman from Samaria at the well and um, he enters into conversation with her. There are seven things that he says and there are seven responses that she makes. But in verse 10 it says this wonderful thing. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, then you would have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The Lord Jesus has moved on from talking about having a drink from her, from the well. Apparently at that time it was about 70, 70 metres deep, tremendously deep well. And um, the Lord Jesus asks for a drink. He says, give me a drink. It's Jacob's well, very, very deep well indeed. And he says, give me a drink. And uh, she, starts, she starts off putting all these barriers up to him. You know, who do you think you are asking for a drink of me? I'm a woman of Samaria. And the Lord Jesus constantly breaks down the barriers. He breaks them down one by one until we get to verse 10. When he says, you know, if you knew what the gift of God was. And if you knew who was talking to you. Then you'd ask him. And he would give you living water. Isn't that beautiful? What he's saying to her is this, that there's certain things that you don't know about. You don't know about the gift of God. And you don't know about the person that's talking to you. And because you don't know those two things, if you did know those two things, he says, then you would ask. You would ask. But I, wonder, I want to think about um, why the Lord Jesus would sit there and ask for a drink of water. If we go to Matthew chapter 25, we discover that the Lord Jesus says that uh, in the judgment of the living nations, the Lord Jesus will say to people, why didn't you give me a drink of water when I was thirsty? And they will say, well, we, we've never heard about you. We've never met you before. And he will say, well, because you didn't do it to the least of my brethren, then you didn't do it to me. And he'll say, well, why didn't you give a meal? Why didn't you give a meal to a hungry, to, to, to me? And they'll say, well, we've, we've never met you. We don't know who you are. And he'll say, because you didn't do it to the least of my brethren, then you didn't do it to me. What the Lord Jesus is doing here to the woman of Samaria is he is inviting her to respond to the message of the kingdom. He's giving her an opportunity to show the kindness which will be the response of the gospel of the kingdom. The gospel of the kingdom came to Israel and of course it's going to include the Samaritans but it comes to Israel and the response that Israel has is to receive the messenger and to give the appropriate um, material support for that messenger. The Lord Jesus says to his disciples, he says, if they don't receive you and if they don't listen to you, then when you leave, when you leave. And of course, if when they're preaching the gospel, there's no cup of cold water, there's no meal, there's no hospitality then that is their response to the message. And the Lord Jesus stops at the well and he invites this dear woman to respond to him and to his message. What a wonderfully gracious thing the Lord Jesus does for her. God bless you. Nice to talk to you and look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow. Bye for now.